Hi, in this question, we're going to be exploring the use of the normal curve and calculating some basic um, probability here. So we understand that we have a normal curve that has a mean of approximately 60, which we denote using mu, and we have a standard deviation sigma of approximately 12. Um, knowing that we have 15,000 students, which we would label as n, we are asked how many students or um, I will have a score lower than 48. So here we know our random variable x bar is going to be equal to 48. What we're trying to find is the number of students who have a score lower than 48, which is going to be the probability of a student having a score of lower than 48 um, times the number of students. Um, this will give us our answer. So here we start by simply calculating our z-score. And to calculate our z-score, um, what, we, what we'll use is our standard equation for um, uh, calculating a z-score, which is z equals x bar minus mu over sigma. And in this case, that's 48 minus 60 over 12, which gives us negative 1. So we know our z-score is negative 1. We can simply look up in a z-table, which I've included on the right side of my screen here. So you can see if we use a z-table, um, that if you look at the score of a z-score of 1, you'll end up on this line. We are looking, um, we won't have any extra decimal points after that. So we're looking at the intersection of those points that we just made. And here you'll see we end up with approximately that one, which is going to give us that uh, probability of 0.1587. So we know that this number here is going to be 0 0.1587 seven times 15,000. And if you simply plug that into a regular old calculator, you would get the following. Um, it's actually um, a partial number. So here, your answer is going to be 2,380.5, um, which would round to 2,381 students.